Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video to show you how to add your Google Calendar to the Calendar app in Windows 10. Now if you're like me, you do a lot of appointments and uh, use an online appointment calendar, you probably are using Google Calendar. The Gmail or Google Calendar is just fantastic because it is one of the most versatile. It synchronizes with almost any device and that's the fun of it. Wherever I am, whatever device I'm using, the calendar works. Even on old devices that you know seem like old days, old school, it works, which is amazing. Now to add a calendar um, a Google Calendar to your Windows 10 calendar, all you have to do is go into the search or click on your calendar app if you have it handy. Just search for calendar if you don't have the app available. And once you are there, on the bottom, you will see that there's a little settings wheel. Click there. On the right side, you'll click accounts. Simply click add account. Here, you will have the options of what type of account you want. You'll choose Google. Enter your email that you want to use from your Google Calendar. Of course, it's going to ask you for your password for your calendar. If you have two-factor authentication like I do, it asks for a verification code. And by the way, if you're not using two-factor authentication, you really should. This is one of the most secure ways of really staying, um, you know, making sure you'll not get hacked because nobody can access your account without that code that you receive on your cell phone. Uh, you enter the code, of course, and I don't have any problems entering this code since this code will last only a few minutes. Once you are there, it's going to say, okay, this is what I'm going to synchronize. This is what I'm, I'm going to check. So view and manage your mail. Know who you are on Google. View your email address. Manage your calendars. Manage your contacts. And all you have to do is say allow. Once it's done, it's added to your calendar. And by the way, that little orange one here is a appointment that I have on that calendar. So it shows you that it actually already works. It synchronizes. And when you do that, you automatically have the Gmail account set for your mail. And the reason why is because both are integrated together. So there's an interaction between mail and calendar. So every time you add a new mail account to your mail, you automatically add an account to your calendar. So, and if you remove it from calendar, you'll remove it from mail. So it's uh, really integrated. They go together. Um, maybe there's a little negative to that. I would, you know, like to have maybe uh, an account only in mail or only in calendar. But basically, that's how it works. So if you had a new mail account, you'll add its calendar automatically. By the way, so that's how it works. It's as easy as that. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, uh, anything you want to know, let us know. Maybe you uh, like our videos. Why not give us thumbs up? Helps us on the readings on YouTube. Thank you so much for following us.